If you're looking for the best stability running shoes, here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers and customer feedback. Also, we've included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have Brooks Women's Adrenaline GT S21 running shoes. It's not surprising that the latest Brooks Adrenaline GT S model continues to be a fan favorite among runners. Our tester has been wearing Adrenalines for more than a decade, and during the test runs with the GT S21, the shoe came out on top for nearly all of the categories. It's considered a stability shoe, but doesn't feel heavy or stiff like some of its competitors, and holds up for both long runs and speed work. Our tester's feet never felt tired or sore after any of the test runs, and while the toe box may be a little narrow for some, she found it hugged her feet without feeling too tight. The DNA soft cushion is paired with Brooks Signature Guide Rails technology to provide support and stability to your feet, but it's still soft and comfortable. The Adrenaline scored either a 5 or a 4.5 in all categories, and we gave it a perfect score for overall value since it really is the whole package for a stability shoe and definitely worth the more expensive price tag. It comes in over 25 different styles and colors as well as in narrow, wide, and extra wide widths. Moving on to the next at number 2 with Brooks Launch 8 running shoes. The Brooks Launch GT S8 brings you the comfort and technology of Brooks shoes at a more budget-friendly price point in relative running shoe terms. During her test runs, our tester found them light and comfortable, so we gave them a perfect score for comfort and fit. Despite their lightweight feel, the shoes still provide some support. Thanks to the signature Brooks Guide Rail system, the lighter, almost neutral, design makes them a great option for speed work. But because they aren't as supportive as some stability shoes, they may not work as well for longer runs, which is why we gave them a score of 3.5 out of 5 for stability. Overall, we found them to be a solid, comfortable shoe that would be great for someone who needs a little support but prioritizes responsiveness and speed and affordability in a shoe. The number 3 position is held by 6 women's Gel Keanu 28. This is a 6 28 version of the Gel Keanu a tried and true stability shoe that has withstood the test of time. For those looking for a shoe with strong shock absorption, which is key when logging miles on a treadmill and a comfortable cushion that is still flexible, we recommend the Gel Keanu 20. 8. The double cushioning system, 4-foot GL technology in the heel plus FF blast cushioning in the midsole creates a comfortable ride and offers the stability many runners with overpronation are looking for. The shoe comes in 13 colors and styles and is available in narrow, medium, and wide widths. Next at number 4 we have Ultra Women's Olympus 4. When you're hitting the trails, a stable shoe with good ground grip is essential and that's why we recommend the Ultra Olympus 4 for trail running. While it's a bit bulky at first glance, I have likened it to the shoe version of Monster Truck. It's actually quite responsive and comfortable underfoot. The Vibra Mega Grip outsole keeps you stable on uneven surfaces, while the balance cushioning balances your stride to reduce pain and injury, especially in, in runners who overpronate. As with other Ultra shoes, the Olympus 4 features a wider toe box, giving your feet room to swell, which can happen on longer runs, especially in warmer conditions. The number 5 position is held by New Balance Women's Fresh Foam 800 611. As soon as our tester laced up the New Balance Fresh Foam 850 Velvets, she felt the benefit of Fresh Foam technology, which feels like you're running or walking on clouds, so we gave the shoes a perfect score for cushioning. They're supportive, yet flexible, and our tester continued to feel comfortable after wearing them for several hours of running and walking. As with many New Balance shoes, the Fresh Foam 860s do run on the narrow side, so they are good for those with narrow feet or who prefer snug fit. The high heel counter design is nice for extra support, but be sure to wear a slightly higher sock to avoid unwanted chafing or blisters. The number 6 position is dominated by New Balance 940 V4. While all stability shoes can provide support for overpronators, the New Balance 940s are designed specifically for this purpose. They offer more support and stability than some others on the market, and the absorbed foam cushioning adds comfort, especially if you're spending hours on your feet. The extra support does come with a little extra weight, 11 ounces, which some may find slightly cumbersome. 
But if your main goal is to correct over pronation when you run or walk, you may be willing to sacrifice a lightweight feel. Available in standard, narrow, wide, and extra wide, the 940 accommodates every foot width and even leaves room for additional support like custom inserts or orthotics for those who need them. Moving on to the next at number 7 with Saucony Women's Guide for Teen Running Shoe. The Saucony Guide 14 is a very solid stability running shoe that suits many runners' needs. In fact, upon first testing the shoes, they reminded our tester a lot of the Brooks Adrenaline's our best overall pick, offering similar comfort, stability, and spring in her step. After three runs plus many hour-long walks in these shoes, they still felt just as soft and comfortable as the first time our tester put them on, which is why they earned the top spot for best distance running shoes. To add to the comfort, the guides have a soft collar that hugs your ankle and does not rub or lead to blisters, which is also very important for logging lots of miles. The shoe is available in over 10 colors in both medium and wide widths. The number 8 position is held by Brooks Women's Aerial 20 Running Shoes. If you've ever suffered from plantar fasciitis, you know that wearing a supportive shoe is key to recovery and then future prevention. For those suffering from this common condition, we recommend the Brooks Aerial 20, which provides more support than other shoes on this list and is a favorite among those who have or are experiencing plantar fasciitis. The Aerial is made with Brooks Signature Guide Rails technology, which offers support throughout the whole shoe, not just in the arch. The additional support does mean a little more weight on the shoe but we think it's a reasonable trade-off for comfort and stability on the run. Next, at number 9, we have Mizuno Women's Wave Rider 25 Running Shoe. Runners who supinate or underpronate require a more flexible neutral shoe that can also still provide some support, and that's where the Mizuno Wave Rider 25 fits in. It's a soft, flexible shoe that includes Mizuno's wave plate, which helps provide a more stable platform as your foot strikes the ground. It does have a larger 12M drop, which paired with the flexible forefoot propels you forward and shifts weight to the toes, which may be helpful to some runners, but problematic for others. It's made with eco-friendly materials and comes in a handful of colors and designs. However, it's only available in one width, so may not be appropriate for someone with narrow or very wide feet. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Brooks Adrenaline GT S18. The Brooks Adrenaline shoe is well-balanced in terms of stability and support, the DNA Loft Crash Pad works with BioMogo DNA, an adaptive midsole material that gives optimum comfort to cushion each stride. In addition, the design mesh has a 3D fit print that provides stability and a proven fit without adding bulk, while guide rails allow your joints, hips, and knees to move in their natural motion. That's all for today. We upload fitness product review videos every single day, so don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.